Alright, good morning. It's uh, Camp Base and I've got a video update for you on the 69 GTX. Uh, there's a new uh, master with the uh, brake booster on it and there's a little bit of an extension on the back that I think has something to do with adding more power or force. I've taken the old one out. I've also taken the steering column out and also taking some lines off of a uh, this unit, I forget what they call it, but there's two lines going into the new master that are, the fittings are a different size. They're the uh, 3 8 three eighths lines, and so you're going to have to cut the old fittings. So basically what I'm going to do is remake two lines. Um, along with that, working on the front end suspension I'm basically disassembling it completely I've got the sway bar off and in the process of taking the rest of it off we've got the brakes are here on the back the bears that are going on are sitting here on the back I've purchased new brake cables the cables are from I don't know if you can read that but it actually says control cables that's the name of the company out here in Southern California and here's uh, cables that they've made for me these uh, these control cables what they do is you, they send you a diagram and you specify the length they want to know the length from here to there from here to here and this length here the only length that they really know based on the fact you've got bare brakes is this this length here which I think is three and 3.75 inches so I've got two and I had to do a little bit of guessing about what length I was going to get the length of the old cables was most likely not long enough because it, you have a different bend uh, going to these brakes so you're going to have to add inches and uh, I think I added between three and five inches I don't know if that's going to work out um, this is the assembly I've painted it you know um, anal about everything so goes under the car this is where you attach the ends ends of the brake cable or attach to it now one interesting thing is that the sizes that hole is different from that hole so the sizes on the end are different so that'll fit in here but it won't fit in it won't fit in there so this is uh, this goes to the other cable underneath so it's one pull pulls both of these pulls both of these so uh, I think that's where I'm at um, I don't think there's much else uh, to say um, I did end up taking the steering column out of here to uh, why don't I take the steering column out mm. Oh, to get to the master cylinder, get to the bolts, the bolts on the master cylinder. And uh, it was just easier thing to do. And then uh, while I was in there, also, uh, I also installed a new uh, speedometer cable because that other one looked pretty crunched. The, uh, the carpet's in there. It's uh, kind of laid in up in the front, still has to be uh, secured in the front. But essentially, it's coming along as everything it's just uh, very time consuming and yeah I'm getting a little tired of uh, spending time doing videos uh, instead of working on the car then that's why you haven't seen very many videos on the back of this they want you to put your uh, your brake lines you know you connect a, a banjo fitting and then they want you to connect them to this thing and they, they want you to strap it onto the the, um, yeah, I only got a short, uh, I'm missing my, can't find my words, but they want you to um, put it onto the axle, and to me that looks pretty dang hokey, I could understand maybe this being welded, but clamping, eh. so we'll see how that works out, um, but they give you all the hardware to, to do stuff like that. Okay, Camp Base out. Hope this uh, video finds you well. If you like our channel, go ahead and follow us. Uh, we also do uh, camping videos about half the time. Camp Base out.